Hi, in this tip we're going to show you how to check your startup items in Windows 10. And your startup items are what programs and services start every time your computer boots up. Now a lot of this stuff runs in the background using up you know, resources and memory and can kind of slow you down after a while. And it's also a good place to check if you think you might have a virus or spyware infection to see if there's something that looks out of place. So with newer versions of Windows like Windows 10, they kind of changed it around a little um, where, you know, um, older version like Windows 7 it was all in one place so what you need to do is click on start and in the search box type in msconfig that's msconfig and it'll run msconfig.exe just hit enter right there and you should be able to do it from Cortana as well and so what you're looking for don't worry about the general tab the boot tab actually might come in handy for troubleshooting so if you want to have your uh, computer boot right into safe mode on the next reboot you could actually click this box pick um, which version of safe mode you want and the next time you reboot it'll boot into safe mode you just have to remember to come back and take this off when you're done but anyway so we're looking for the startup tab and in the older versions you used to list everything here but now it wants you to open task manager so you just click on that and this will show everything that's set to start up with the computer and if it's enabled or disabled like on this one here most of it's disabled because we don't need all this stuff running all the time so you could sort by enabled or disabled or the name or the publisher or the startup impact so I like to sort by enabled and then go down there and see if there's anything that needs to be disabled so like this and this and this I want to run all these you know we don't need to have these running every time the computer starts so all you need to do is click on one and either you could either enable it or you could disable it and if you don't know what something is you probably shouldn't disable it so what you could do is just google it and see if you could find out if it's something important or not or something you need to be running or something you should even have on your computer so once you do that you're all done and all you have to do is just exit out of it and the other place you could look for startup items is services so click on the services tab and for the most part you're going to want all the Microsoft services to be running you don't really want to mess with those unless you really know what you're doing so you check this box that says hide all Microsoft services and then this will show you what's set to start up with your computer on boot and if it's actually running or not so you could also go down this and say I don't need you know the Adobe Acrobat update service because I'm going to update it manually so you could just uncheck it and you know if you don't want your Google Chrome to be updated you could uncheck you know, Google update service and just kind of go down the list and if there's something that's kind of seems out of whack you could look it up here too and see if it's uh, something you should be concerned about and then you could definitely uncheck it and do your virus and spyware scans and try and get that taken care of so once you're done here you simply just click on OK and if you made any changes um, it's going to ask you to restart you don't have to because you know, it's up to you but those changes won't take effect until the next time you reboot and if you don't make any changes it won't um, prompt you for this so if you just click exit without restart then the next time you boot up whatever those things that you unchecked won't load on the next boot so that's about it for that so give that MS config a try and see what you think and see if you get to make your computer a little faster alright thanks for watching